Okay, amigos, welcome to day nine. Now on day eight, you saw me install half of the UV lights. And later on that night, actually brought it inside, didn't record that part. I removed my old table where I had the heat press. I took that out. Now I actually have my heat press on this small table. And luckily, the, oops, <laughs> the metal, how do you say the piece of, sh I don't know how to say it, but this, I used to cover the exposure unit. There's one piece left and I use that to place down here. You know, so I could store my, you know, just stuff. So I have half of the UV lights installed. Still need to solder that in. But before I do that, I had like a, a different idea how to actually install the UV lights with the timer. Because if you saw my previous exposure unit, you know, what I did was hopefully this makes sense, but this outlet, this outlet is actually controlled by the timer that I have installed here. This one right here. So when the ti timer turns on, it will turn on this outlet, which will cause, you know, the light that I have my UV, the old one, connect it, turn on. And when the time will go out, it will turn off by itself. But for these UV lights, I'm having second thoughts on doing it that way. And the main reason is because of this little guy right here. This adapter, this AC-DC adapter. I don't feel comfortable having this, you know, turn on, turn off, turn on, turn off, turn on, turn off. I prefer to actually have disconnected you know this turn on the entire time and having the switch actually control the how you saying the how can I explain this I don't want my timer to control the actual power of this AC adapter but instead control the output of the AC adapter if that makes sense and one way to do that is if I actually were to cut the end of this adapter and connect this to the extra timer and the outgoing of the timer connected to the to the UV light this one hopefully it doesn't come off connected to this but there could be one problem I have no idea how this is inside the last thing I want to do is cut this and for it not to be, you know, the wiring I expect to be inside here, not to be the way I want it to be. But luckily, where's it? I think I lost it. Oh, this one. Here it is. These rolls, these UV rolls, these LED lights, at the end of each roll, it has another, it's a, a way to connect another roll into one roll. So I'm gonna cut this and just see how it is inside. If it's the way I want it to be, then I'll cut that on the AC adapter. Yeah, hopefully this is making sense because I'm struggling to how to explain this. <laughs> but anyways, let me cut this real quick to see how it is inside. I'm trying to figure out where to cut it to. I think I'm just gonna take this off right here. Yes, yes, that's what I wanted to see. I wanted to make sure that it was like that. Okay. Okay, so that's good news right here. That is made like that. So, the actual risk. Oh my God. I'm kind of scared to do this. So this is going to be the risky part. I'm going to cut this in here. That way these cables will go to the timer and also the timer out will go to this right here. One, two, three. Okay. Good thing. I got two wires out here. So, 
This is going to be a little challenge. It's not going to figure out how to do this. point of having this removal was to work on this. I'm going to remove this real quick. Make things a lot easier. Oh, you guys can see the light in the back. Turn it on. Yes. It works. Turn it off. Yeah, man. It's time to fix this up so it won't be completely this clutter. Bring this up here. I'm so glad I made the decision to have this removable because it would have been a hat working down there. Let me give you a preview of this, how it's going to work since I set up everything already. So I'll connect my spool here unit. I forgot to leave something, the timer, and oh, forgot to connect the UV light. The UV light, the AC adapter is power on right now. And once I turn on the timer, it's going to turn on the UV lights. See? Now, the only thing left to do now is add the rest of the LED strips. And end up soldering all of them together. But that's gonna be for another day because I'm tired today. This actually took longer than I expected. But I'm just glad that the rain is all set up and we're almost good to go. Today is day 10 on my do yourself exposure unit. What I'm going to do today is I'm gonna solder the half of the LED lights. I'm gonna solder them first, then I'm gonna attach the other half. Then later on, I'll solder the rest of those. But for now, just soldering half of it because this is my first time soldering. So hopefully everything goes well. And just to make things easier, I am gonna place this on top. Just place the hammer. The cable won't get in the way. 
Okay. I just realized something while, when I started soldering this. I did buy a cheap this soldering thing. This costs 50 pesos, which is like around what, like two dollars something around there. And I'll soldering, and that thing touched this metal thing that I used for my table, and I got electrocuted a little bit. Luckily, that did happen because I just realized something that I did place these LED lights on top of a piece of metal. And here where you solder, I don't know if you can tell, let me see if I could get you guys a look. And these things, can't see my finger, oh, okay. These things, well, if I solder the cables onto there, most likely they will be getting in contact with this metal this metal that I have here which could cause a short circuit so what I'm going to end up doing is I'm actually going to be placing a piece of uh, electrical tape underneath each end just to be careful So what I need to do now is test that out to see if it actually works. Hopefully I saw everything properly. Plug it in. No short circuit please. Yeah. Halfway there. So tomorrow Tomorrow, I'm gonna add the rest of the LED lights and solve the rest of them because it's already late right now.